Aww, Aww, geek geek out. Out. Pinky's up. Time for another Geek Out Book Club. I'm Sam. I'm Jake. This week we're going to be talking about uh, two different, but this is a kind of a Feral Dalrymple uh, double feature we've got oh, going yeah, on. Baby. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's, baby. Yeah, baby. Because uh, both books out on June 13th in comic book stores everywhere in Comixology is the collection of It Will All Hurt, the uh, you know uh, Eisner-nominated uh, web series collected in its entirety. And set in the Renshi's verse, we have his uh, new series, Proxima Centauri, which, uh, you know, debuts with issue one of six, also on the 13th. Jake, what do you think of the books? Um, totally, wonderfully odd. And, like, I, I, I don't know, like, I, his art style, he's one of those guys that does it all. His art style is so unique. Like, he's one of those guys, you know, exactly. All the watercolor. Yeah. Um... There's there's like a a, a real it's gonna sound weird like a there is a realism to it but magical it's, realism yeah but it's so fucking out there at the same time yeah. like it you never know what you're in for mm-hmm. you know what I mean um, it's, it's very psychedelic yeah it's it's wild what I like about this is and you totally know, unique yeah that's the thing that's I think most important with this stuff it's so unique he had kind of gone into like urban you know uh, urban magic or you know with uh, with the pop gun war books. Yeah. And with this one, he takes it, you know, what's, what's an even better setting for that kind of style science fiction. So you kind of get this like existentialism, all the, all these existential questions and all these, you know, philosophies juxtaposed with magical realism within the setting of science fiction. It kind of defies, defies typical genre conventions. Um, uh, the it's, uh, again, if you're, if you're a fan of his work, or even if you haven't read the Wrenchies before, it's it's still perfectly accessible. Mm-hmm. It's there's just something about it. It's he's a he's a comic book creator that basically puts all the all of his interests, all of the things he wants to do. He's like, does it fit the story? It does now. <laughs> you know, it just yeah. He he's very like unabashedly like this is just this is the book I want to read. So this is the book I'm going to make. Yeah. And there's something there's like a purity in storytelling to that, yeah. especially when it's coming all from both writing and, and art coming from the same guy. Oh yeah, I mean you get to do whatever you want. Yeah. Um, and that's so cool. Like, yeah. uh, utmost respect for all the people that we've interviewed. Um, you know, writer or artist or anything, colorist, anything. But like when you do it all, like that responsibility of it, and like you're saying that, oh, you get to choose what you want to do because you're your own, you're the boss of this thing. Yeah. Um, it's it's really something else. And like I said, this is the best way I can think. It's like it's so unique. Yeah. Like it's... nobody else, nobody else would come close to thinking or doing something like this except him. Yeah. So so unique. So like uh, un like unabashedly peculiar. Like it embraces peculiar, that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I like that word peculiar. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna bring that back. I don't peculiar. think it. I think I think it's been around. Okay. okay. <laughs> I don't think I don't think it left. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it had fallen out of fashion in the modern lexicon. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but <laughs> lexicon had. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. But the uh, yeah. There's something, and there's almost like a melancholy to both mm-hmm. to to like a lot of his work. Not just both these books, but you see it in Pop Gun War. But it never like puts you off no but uh yeah i mean there's some metal shit oh yeah eyes oh yeah going into detail yeah (laughs) green fire (laughs) yeah yeah um but yeah both books out on uh on uh, wednesday june 13th in comic book stores everywhere and on comiXology you know check them both out or check one or the other but you know if if you love dar rumple's work or even if you're looking for the perfect jumping on point this is this is a really good representation of what he brings to the table artistically um this has been another Geek Out Book Club. I'm Sam. I'm Jake. Keep reading. This has been another Geek Out production. If you enjoyed what you heard, hey, you know, we've got a special episode every Friday. Of course, there's the usual catching up show every Wednesday. And you get book club episodes just about every Tuesday these days. Thanks for listening. <laughs>